Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. We're here at IFI 50. I've just watched the film Sun Mother by the Iranian director Menaz Mohammadi. It's in the international competition section here. It's told in two halves. The first half is about the mother. She's a single mother living in Tehran and she's actually in a relationship with a bus driver. The mother is stuck with this problem. She wants to be with the bus driver, but she can't because she has a son, a teenage son, and he has a teenage daughter. She finds a solution in sending him away to a boarding school. It's a school for deaf children. He's not actually deaf. So your film is uh, very realistic. You come from a documentary background. Can you tell me uh, this story is based on a real, real life incident? Uh, any movie I'm making is based on the true story. Right. And just uh, for the people who haven't seen it, can you just explain what the story is about very broadly? Uh, actually, the story is about the... Um, at the uh, about the tradition and the, how the, the people became the tools of the oppression. Right. And uh, I just, just I discovered uh, in myself, because I'm many years, for many years, I'm fighting about my rights. And I discovered, oh my God, I became a tool of, that, of them. Right. Uh, and just, I want to share these tools, look, what we are doing with ourselves. We are making tragedy in our life. Leila, as an independent woman, tried to survive the family, everything, but the economy, sanction, everything, tradition doesn't let her to do. I don't think in the West we've seen many stories from Iran about single mothers. So I found that element very powerful. And also the fact that she's in a relationship with a, with a man and they're not married yet. And yeah. the complications really come out of that, don't they? I'm thinking that the, 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 for the Leila, this is the only chance for to survive to get married with the cousin, bus driver. Uh, I couldn't put that as a relationship name. Just I'm thinking she's just grabbing some things right. to help the family. Yeah. So it, I mean, it doesn't seem like a relationship of convenience exactly. because there does seem some genuine affection there. There's a lovely scene where they're sharing ice cream, and I, I think you do kind of give the viewer the impression that they are in love and they do f have strong feelings for each other and that's very yeah. tender and nice and also you make the bus driver because I'm very um, uh, he's a decent man you know he's not exploiting exactly. um, Leila for his own um, purposes so mm -hmm. but the real part of the story is what happens to the son and exactly. uh, and the whole education system mm -hmm. So was that something that really drove you to do this story? Uh, actually, all of the stories comes from my life, around myself, whatever I'm seeing in my society. Um, and this is story maybe for the foreign people a little bit hard, but just imagine, for me, I couldn't imagine any Iranian lifestyle without the tragedy. If you ask any, any, any people in this region, even in India, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Everybody has own tragedy, right. and uh, for me, um, talking about this tragedy because um, we can change it yeah. if we just uh, doesn't care about the, this kind of the tradition which is influencing your life, the changing your life. Even uh, when you are a kid, you don't you don't have any chance for to choose about yourself. The big the the parents the the, the people yeah, sure. uh, changing your life. Right. Um, uh, for me, actually, um, the, what's drawing me because just I'm looking at my life. Yeah, sure. So I that. Everybody has to care about what the people, what the society ask them. Because as a person, any choice in my life, I should listen at first what the society yeah, telling me right, right, right. and then I can make my choice. Right. I'm not that person listening to them, but almost 
traditional society yeah. cares about the, what they what they what they asking. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But you should do what they want by you. How easy or difficult is it to make a film like this in in Iran? Uh, as before, I told you, I don't care what the society asking me. That that put me on the different situation. You you call radical? I'm saying no. Just I'm a human. Yeah, I'm looking right, for the yeah, my you know yeah. my rights. Yeah. Uh, my rights start by my body at first. Right. Even you know. Yeah. I wear yeah. this yeah. because it's not my choice. No, no. Sure. <laughs> the forced by the yeah, the everything. So in I mean, my. I, I, I'm thinking um, I start actually by me, uh, by very simple rights and which is is unbelievable unbelievable for me can be a you know the radical things. I think radical in the context in which you are operating, yeah. not obviously outside and like in democracies like here yeah. and in the UK it would not be such a. Uh, difficult thing, I imagine, um, to a point, obviously. If um, you're out of the box, you're not thinking yeah. like them, you're not listening to them, yeah. you can be a radical. But for me, um, I'm always just thinking, what makes, it was, what is destroying my life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I want to discover it and I find it, oh my God, I'm not the only person, uh, maybe better just talking about myself at yeah. first, be because in the movie, about the Amir, Leila, and Kazem, everyone, I'm thinking anybody can find themselves in the movie. It's difficult to make it because always they are suspicious about you. What do you want to make it? Ali, Ali. I'm coming from the documentary. Yeah. Just I'm telling the truth. Right. Right. I yeah. couldn't stop. <laughs>